What's up? I am Baron here with DarkEffects.net and we are inside of Adobe After Effects and this is lesson number one of our plugins lesson. And in this lesson right here, we're going to be doing this. Now, as you can see, we've got our glasses and our glasses swing over and then our text here and here gets blurred and then comes right back into focus so sort of like how you would be when you put on a pair of glasses and uh, for the first time everything's blurry and then it comes into focus and that's basically what we're doing if you notice the E in the middle does not change it stays the same because it does not need to change and so that's what we're going to be doing so let's go ahead and create a new composition we're going to call this blurred oops vision 1280 by 720 25 frames uh we've got to set it for 313 315 would be okay let's go ahead and put it at 315 and then click okay first thing i want to do is add in some text so we're going to do dark effects and let's go to our title action safe center this about in the middle and then remove the title action safe come back over here Okay, now, the first thing that we want to do is we want to duplicate this layer four times. So, to duplicate it, Control or Command D on the Mac, two, three, four. So, this is our main. So, this is our main. This right here is going to be, whoops, let's try that again. This is going to be dark. This is going to be E. And then this right here is going to be FFECTS. So let's go ahead and hide them two. We're going to do this one first. So the first thing we're going to do is come over here, grab a hold of our text tool, and delete that part. Hide that one. Select our E. Over here. Delete that one. And then delete to here. Bring over P for position. Drag this over to our E. That looks good and now let's hide this one come over here to our effects select it and then remove all of that p for position oops p for position drag this all the way over to the end there we go so we've got a p here that i did not mean to get so let's do that one more time And that looks good. Take that off. And then there we go. That's our D, that's our E, and this is our effects. Okay, so now we want to come over here to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Box Blur. And then with our D selected, Okay, and now let's come out here to our one, create a keyframe, and we're going to change this to 2.5, and then we're going to come out to our two and change this to a five, and then come out to our three and change this back to zero, so that we have this effect right here. So now let's um, Control C, Command C on a Mac to copy come down here to dark and then paste it on there and so now we have dark effects blurring out on us okay and right here we have an image that I found online and so we're going to come over here to effect keying key light and the reason why I do this is that if people don't know how to use the keying system within After Effects. I like to show them by bringing or importing images that have a green background so that I can show them how to use the keying feature within After Effects. So that is the reason why I do this. So please do not ask me why I do it. So that is the reason. Okay, so how we use our key light is that we come over here to our eyedropper. We click here, we come over here to our key, and then we click, and then there you go. That is how we use our Keyer within Adobe After Effects. 
and so now what we want to do is that we want to take our glasses and let's bring them up hold on, let's go back let's make it a 3d layer and let's go in a little bit and now let's hold down shift to bring it up and now let's bring it down just a little bit right up in there looks great okay so now the next thing we want to do is come up here to our pan behind when we click on the pan behind it gives you the ability to come over here and see you got the X and it shows you the Y so you can actually move this over to here now what this is going to enable you to do is to come down here to our transform and then change the orientation and so we want it to be right here so we're going to click our stopwatch and it's going to create a keyframe where we want it to stop at then we're going to come over to there and then we're going to oops let's grab a hold of the right one way we're going to move this out to here which is completely out of focus and then it gets brought in and then it gives us the blurred effect and then it straightens itself out so that is how we do the glasses pretty cool huh okay and then we just grab a hold of these right click pre-compose text and then it moves it over there so that we can actually work with just these two layers within our project and so pretty sweet Okay, Wayne Byrne here with DarkEffects.net for lesson one of our Dark Eff I mean <laughs> of our After Effects plug-in lesson series. Alright, y'all have a rocking weekend now. Bye bye.